This demo showcases FortiSource automation capabilities by extracting an IP address, querying virus total, enriching the resulting alert, and automatically executing a corresponding playbook. Within FortiSource Incident Response section, the Alerts module is used to view all the generated alerts. The Indicator module provides threat intelligence by classifying IP address, ports, files, and hashes as malicious, suspicious, or benign. The manual indicator creation process involves specifying a type, such as domain, host, file, or IP address, and its associated value. As an example, creating an IP address indicator with a value of 4.2.2.2 initiates an enrichment process that leverages virus total to provide an additional context. The workflow icon provides access to a list of background playbooks and their execution details. The playbook execution logs confirm the IP address enrichment process. Let's create a new playbook. In the automation section, navigate to playbooks and create a new playbook. Naming it IOC enrichment IP using virus total. The available trigger options include manual, on create, on update, reference playbook, custom API, and on delete. The playbook builder also provides features such as revision history, execution priority settings, and other configuration options. We are selecting on create as the trigger method. We will begin by configuring the playbook, selecting start, naming it IOC enrichment and choosing the indicator module as the resource. Setting a trigger is essential for playbook execution. As previously noted, the indicator type must be an IP address. File, hash or domain will select IP address and save. The next step involves submitting the IP address to virus total for analysis. For conditional result evaluation, various evaluation steps are available. In this demo, we will directly use the connector to retrieve the results. This is accomplished by navigating to the execution step and select connector. By selecting the virus total connector and providing a descriptive name for the step. Within the connectors action, we will select get IP reputation. This reaction requires an input field for the IP address. FortiSource simplifies this by allowing us to dynamically select the value field from the indicator record, removing the need to manually enter the IP address. After saving both the step and the playbook, which is being modified in debug mode to provide detailed execution information, we will note that the ability to prioritize this playbook execution. Playbook priority can be adjusted to influence execution order. We are keeping the default priority in this case. With the playbook configured for IP address enrichment, we'll proceed to the incident response module and view the alerts. By ingesting alerts from FortiSim, we can observe the enrichment process in action. A received a FortiSim alert related to command and control activity. Has identified the malicious public IP address 89.234.257.234. The alert visualization illustrates the involvement of this malicious indicator. A virus total scan confirms its malicious nature with the 12 vendors flagging it. Let's examine the indicator section to observe the indicators that FortiSource are automatically generated based on the FortiSim alert. The playbook execution logs confirm the successful execution of the newly created playbook. The output section displays the results of the virus total enrichment. Expanding the attribute section provides a detailed view of the analysis. Includes the last analysis statistics, which show 12 vendor confirmations of the IP address maliciousness. This concludes the demonstration of triggering a playbook using a core FortiSource functionality. Thanks for watching.